Oh, man. This has been a very, very interesting time, to say the least, but... Ah, man, I really didn't expect to make another video like this. This is basically a deja vu moment for me, because... Yeah, the title's accurate. And this is not the first time I've had to have sent this, but... I survived another hurricane. This time, it was with Hurricane Milton. I was not expecting this storm at all. No one here in Florida was, but... I should probably start this video out in more of a normal way first, so... Hey there, guys. I'm Sonic Ghost, and... This is just going to be a very laid-back styled update kind of video because I want to tell everyone that I'm safe, my family's safe, we got through the storm, but it was definitely a very hard storm to survive through this time. And thankfully, the damages to our house are minimal compared to a storm that hit two years ago, Hurricane Ian, but we still have damages. We lost some screens on our back patio, and there are some caps from our roof that are now missing, so there's some pieces here and there to patch up. The biggest amount of damage that we had was relating to our back patio's cage. During Hurricane Ian, the cage just ripped off the side of our house in the back, and we had that fixed, but the winds from Hurricane Milton tore that piece of the back screen patio right back off the house. So now the metal is just dangling off of the side of the house. So that's some pretty major damage we're going to need to fix. But thankfully, everything else seems to be intact, which is good because this storm honestly was more of an emotional roller coaster than anything else this time around. I honestly, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I was terrified. Just knowing exactly what was coming our way and the caliber of this said storm and projections. It was going to bring heavy storm surge, so there'd be water coming in all inland, which was terrifying to know because two weeks before Hurricane Milton hit, there was another hurricane that passed through the Gulf, Hurricane Helene, and... I live on the southwest side of Florida, so I'm right in the path when it comes to a lot of these storms. If they come through the Gulf, there's a good chance they come this said direction, which in the past has not been as big of a concern as it has been these past few years because the weather is getting more fierce. It's hotter outside. It is warmer out in the, the Gulf or just the Atlantic Ocean in general. And that's causing these storms to become more and more fierce every year. And they're bringing more and more water. And that was a big concern for this specific storm we just went through, Hurricane Milton. Because the last one that came through this area, Hurricane Helene... That did not hit Florida directly. It was an indirect storm, but it flooded so many areas, including an area that I live in. A town not that far away from where my house is specifically. A lot of it got flooded from Helene, and they were still picking up all of their pieces trying to repair. And then two weeks later, we're told there's another hurricane coming this way. This one looks even bigger, and this one's going to actually make landfall here in Florida. And it did so much damage. I'm honestly just, I'm still in shock just looking at pictures and videos of a lot of the aftermath as there's just so much. A lot of the areas that were just getting back on their feet from Ian from two years ago are now completely destroyed and back to square one having to rebuild from the ground up. Our beach here is completely gone. There's nothing left of it. If there was houses there on the beach, there's not houses there anymore. It is a tragic sight. And I don't know, honestly, if I can do this again. Like, I was not sure what the storm was going to bring. And by the time we're getting evacuation notices, I'm, I'm getting notices on my phone a day or two bef uh, before the storm saying, 
areas that are in evacuation zones A and B, they got to leave. And I'm in a B zone, which is not right next to the water. It's more inland, but it's still close enough where storm surge is a concern. And all of the shelters were in C zones, which a day later got the same notification saying, hey, you got to evacuate in the C zones, which are pretty inland. So even these areas were not safe. At this point, most of Florida was an evacuation zone and there's nowhere to go. The highways are packed with cars so you can't get out and it's just a terrifying thought. So we hunker down here at home. We have plenty of resources in here to survive in case something happens and we got everything prepared. Hurricane shutters on our windows and doors. That way nothing can blow in from the storm. We got ourselves everything set up in a interior section of the house in case there are tornadoes touching down, which there were tornadoes from all the reports I was seeing after the storm was done. And we did lose power for a couple days, so I had to rough it out without power once again, just like I did with Ian. But honestly, the fact that I was able to get through that section means I got through the storm, and that's the bigger relief. But this has just been a very emotional experience. And I wanted to make this video to basically just kind of touch base with a lot of people because I was getting a lot of messages leading up to the storm, after the storm, even like during it, of people trying to reach out, asking how I was doing, how's my family, are you okay, is there anything I can do? So I, I wanted to just reach out to everyone in one specific video like this. And I just want to let everyone know that I'm okay and my family is okay. This definitely shook us up though emotionally. I mean, there's still some PTSD here in this house from Hurricane Ian from 2022. So uh, it did not help to have another storm almost on the same caliber hit. Not too long after the two year anniversary mark as Hurricane Ian, uh, Ian excuse me, was in September. This one is beginning of October for Milton. So they're very close to each other in terms of timetables. So just getting back on our feet from a devastating storm from a couple years ago and having to do it again, not easy, that's for sure. And my heart, it goes out to everyone who was affected by these past few hurricanes as of late, especially with Helene and Milton. I have seen a lot of damage between those two storms in so many different areas. And I really do feel for those people because going through those storms myself, especially this latest one, it, it's not easy. And I don't wish this on anyone. I really don't. It's something that I'm really considering about at this point, if I'm needing to relocate or not, because I've lived here in Florida for over 20 years, pretty much my whole life. But it's getting to the point now where I'm not even sure if it's a good idea for me to stay here anymore because a lot of stuff has changed and the weather is getting a lot more fierce. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm needing to personally figure out. And there might be some changes, I'll just say, in the upcoming months or so. I don't know for sure. But if there are, obviously I'd let people know. But right now, I'm just going to be focusing on getting back on my feet and at this point, looking forward. So that is the big breakdown when it came to what happened here over the past week or so when it came to my experience with Hurricane Milton. And again, my heart, it goes out to everyone involved in this storm because it's a lot. It really is. But on some brighter news, because I am using this as a opportunity for a channel update as well, uh, I want to just at least touch base on some things here because we just wrapped up uh, the Let's Play we just finished up of Pikmin. It was a fun little revisit, and at this point, I'm going to be jumping right into another project here very soon, but this week specifically, I'm going to focus on trying to get out some videos that I had recorded from a couple weeks ago, back September, as during the very last run-through of Splatoon 3's events, there were a couple different things I had there to record when it came to one more challenge video that I have. Yes, there's one more challenge video. I'm surprised too, but there's one more specific mode that we're going to be looking at. And also 
I took a look at the new Splatoon 3 Amiibos. I did an unboxing video and showcased how those said figures work in Splatoon 3. So I got some videos coming out here this week regarding some Splatoon 3 content. And I am working on getting the stream highlights done from September. There's been a lot going on. I don't know if you noticed. So I haven't really been prioritizing making that highlight compilation yet because there has been so many other factors to consider. But I want to get that out here very soon. I apologize for the delay on that said highlight reel. But hey, it'll be worth it by the time it comes out because... Those moments, maybe you don't remember them or not back in September. So by the time those highlights do come out in a video, jog your memory a bit. And then it's like, oh, it's like a new experience all over again. So I'm, I'll work on that as soon as I can. Get it out hopefully before the end of October at the very least. That, that's the goal. Before October needs its own highlight thing. And in terms of live streams on Twitch, I am going to have to restructure some stuff. Because I had a bunch of plans for October that... I am now unfortunately going to be canceling because during October, this is usually when we stream games more Halloween themed, so spooky stuff. And I started one game specifically, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD on the Nintendo Switch. And I was going to play another game alongside of Luigi's Mansion 2. I don't really think I have the time anymore to squeeze in a second full length spooky themed game. So unfortunately, that is going to be scrapped. We'll be playing Luigi's Mansion 2 mainly here in the month of October. But we got some interesting stuff coming here at the very end of the year. So I think it's a worth trade-off for future projects coming your way. And let's just say that look forward to something coming out here at the very end of October here on YouTube. Because it's going to be fitting, to say the least. As it is a uh, a certain fearless year, after all. But that's pretty much all I got to share with you guys. So thank you to everyone who reached out to me during this past week of concern and just checking in on me when it came to all the the commotion with Hurricane Milton, the aftermath. Just in general, just people being there for me when I needed the most. I really do appreciate that. Again, I'm safe. Family is safe. It was just a very emotional time, to say the least. But got through it, and we all will still be getting through this together here as a community where I live. So it's going to take some time to rebuild once again, but we'll get there. That's going to do it, though, for today's video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little ramble fest of mine. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.